All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of RCW Relentless. I have a special guest with me. You've heard him before on multiple streams. Young Sin, one of my mods. You yeah, what up, man? As we welcome the RCW World Champion Seth Rollins out here in this Extreme Rules match. Now he will be defending that title against Brian Danielson and Kevin Owens in a triple threat match at RCW Reclaim in Las Vegas. So uh, before we get this match underway, we have I have some news. So I tweeted out a tweet that had said that since WWE 2K22 wants to hit different, and since the company wants to hit different, RCW is definitely going to hit different. So you're going to see a re makeover of the of the main show coming in uh, 2K22. As Brad Williams, the rebel Brad Williams, comes out here. Now, this man is a force to be reckoned with. We've seen him in a match with Jack Outlaw and Bryce Blackwell for the Ravage Championship, in which Jack Outlaw had retained his championship. And speaking of Jack Outlaw, he will be defending that title tonight in a triple threat match. As he didn't defend that title on RCW, not because uh, he didn't want to, but because of the fact that we had other... Uh, matches booked for that show so uh he that didn't count against him so we have seth rollins and brad williams here we go extreme rules as seth rollins of the sling blade to start it off now i know that sin that you had started a uh viewer's choice and that sky outlaw had retained her BCW Women's United States title after cashing in the million dollar championship, which yes, kind of functions sir. as money in the bank in your BCW. So, yes, sir. What was your reaction to Sky actually winning that match? You know, because I was Honestly, there. I was yeah, there. It, but. I was. She she always shows up big time. I'm gonna call her. Big time Sky, just like we got big time Bex now. <laughs> Sky always shows up big time in big time matches. That what, she what, does. Is, what is what is John Bradshaw Layfield called John Cena? Big time, big match John. Yep. And Sky. Big time Sky. Yeah, it seems like, you know, when the outlaws are ready, you know, when the title's on the line or something crucial is on the line, the outlaws are ready to go. And. And, you know, who do you think, out of the outliers, I mean, you got Tyler Rage, Karrion Cross, uh, you know, you got, you got those guys in there. Who do you think Brian Outlaw is going to choose as his partner uh, heading into that match with uh, Menace? As Chris Danger will have to choose a partner of his choosing. And it seems that, like, he's trying to get Mox on his side, but every single time... Chris Danger has tried to help out Moxley. Um, it's obviously not helped out Mox whatsoever. He's lost both times versus CM Punk. Now, so. Who do you think mm. Brian's going to choose? Because, I mean, that's tough. I mean, he's... I, I would go, if I was if I was Brian Outlaw, I personally would go with your current BCW King of the Ring champion, Tyler Rage. I mean, it was Tyler Rage that wanted a little bit of, um, I guess, tutelage, I guess, um, from Brian Outlaw. So, you know, if, if if Tyler Rage has anything to prove to Brian Outlaw, it's that he belongs on the Outliers. So, you know, for the win on pay-per-view, you know, that would be huge for him. But, you know, you mentioned Brad Williams and Tyler Rage possibly being a tag team. I mean, Brad Williams, definitely really tough guy here as a kick out at one here from Seth Rollins. And if Brad Williams can come out with a victory here, that triple threat match could easily turn into a fatal four-way. I mean, that would further hurt Seth Rollins here. And Seth Rollins with a curb stomp right to Brad Williams. Right into the canvas. And just as we were talking about Brad Williams, it might be over for him. Extreme rules. Kick out there from Brad Williams at the last second there. And what do you think Brad needs to do here to 
keep Seth Rollins down. I mean, Seth Rollins, you know, this is an Extreme Rules match. So, you know, as we see Seth Rollins with the baseball bat. You know, Brad was a former BCW Intercontinental Champion, wasn't he? And then the... No, he is the current. Oh, the current one. Okay. I just know that he won something. <laughs> yeah. think uh you will actually be putting his title on the line later later tonight or actually no not tonight um wednesday at velocity we should look forward to that but brad williams definitely putting his title on the line here but he's got to focus here against seth rollins as he's been busted open Rollins again with the baseball bat, relentlessly, no pun intended. Going after Brad Williams. And he's getting more weapons out here, more toys. As Rollins has the kendo stick in hand. Right there, right on the back of Brad Williams again. Rollins, the relentless beatdown. Oh, Brad Williams all oh, coming back with a shot of his own with that kindle stick, and there's more. Now, Brad came so close to winning the Rabbit Championship. He came so close to winning the Rabbit Championship before. Uh, with uh, Jack Outlaw and Bryce, it, it was actually Brad Williams that hit the finishing maneuver, hit the bitter end on Bryce, but Jack stole it from uh, Brad Williams, to be honest with you. That's, that's what happened. He stole it, and he got the win, so. So, you know, we're, we're going to we'll have to see what happens as a result of that match. Later on tonight, as Brad Williams just... Tossing Seth Rollins out. Brad Williams wearing that crimson mask as Seth Rollins gets him back into the ring. That's the only way they can win it out here. As Seth Rollins... Seth Rollins! Oh my god, what a super kick. From Seth Rollins there. Now he's going for the revolution. Ain't gonna turn it around. Revolution knee right on... To Brad Williams, one, two, to get the win over Brad, and Brad just got the shoulder up at two. My God, Brad Williams. This is a man on a mission here. Brad Williams again tossing the world champion on the apron. Now Brad Williams. I don't know if you ever seen him do this before, Sin, but he's going for something big here. Brad Ooh. Williams got a toss! Ooh. Rollins! Into the ring from the apron! Beautiful replays there, multiple angles. One. Two to get the win over the champ, and no, a kick out at two and a half. I don't think I've ever seen Brad do that before. I don't ever remember him executing that maneuver. Now he's going right after the leg of Seth Rollins. Kick right to the face. Over Brad, Brad Williams. Caught the champ off guard oh, here. Boom. He goes duck. Whoop. Oh, what a close line. And a kip up right good. up. There from Brad Williams. This guy, he's on fire right now. Oh, he's going to drop him with the unprettier. And Seth Rollins. Brad wants more. But he's going to go for the pin here. One. No. Just a one count. 
Not going for the bitter end here right now. Arm drag there from Rollins. Bad decision there to not charge up the bitter end and, and end this one. Oh, what a kick to the midsection. Oh my god, Last taking out time. Seth Rollins. Oh, is that freak accident? Freak accident right there on the Rollins. That's right, Sin. He got the freak accident right off. An Irish whip into the corner. Oh, what interesting the? kick there. I don't know what the hell that was. That had me, that had me, <laughs> that had me confused. Like, whoa, wait a minute. I was wondering what the hell that was or what the hell that was supposed to do, but it looks like Rollins is going to catch him. Curb stomp again to Brad Williams. One, two, three. And the champion gets the victory here. Wow. What a fight, though, from Brad Williams. I'm surprised nobody went through the barricades or went through the announce table yet. Usually that happens very early on in RCW, but, you know, I don't want to uh, get ahead of myself here as we got a couple more matches before this show ends as Seth Rollins gets the victory. But don't go anywhere, folks. We're going to get to your next match momentarily as we go over to the break screen. That's right. That's right, folks. Savannah Williams coming soon to the women's division in RCW as we have the Fathers of Fear. Alpha and Omega coming out here. Now these guys have possibly their biggest match yet of their young careers here on the RCW roster. Look at these guys. Alpha and Omega. A force. Now, we still have yet to determine an opponent right now for Ryman Reason, Jacob Ryan, and Caleb Reason, the RCW Tag Champions. Now, as it looks, it's going to be Love Machine because of their victory. But, that might not be the final. As cards are subject to change, always. With the Fathers of Fear, they might be getting the victory here tonight. Now it's a tables match. With both men in the ring at the same time as Ryman Reason. Come out here. Look at those tag titles. Jacob Rhyme and Caleb Reason. Now, I've said to Sin that I wanted these guys 
to win these titles. Like, they were one of my number one picks to take this tag team division by storm, and they have. Look at these guys. Jacob Rhyme. That's a great thumbnail right there. Jacob Rhyme. And Caleb Reason. In a tables match here. With the Fathers of Fear. The first tag team to be put through a table. We'll lose. And Victor will win. So, you know, this is this is definitely a change of pace here. As a pin is not going to win you this match. It's got to be put, putting your opponent through a table. So, you know, it's Jacob Rhyme. Fighting over that table there. Oh, my God. God, using the table as a weapon here is Caleb Reason. And Alpha are out here. Jacob Ryan. Right there, saving his partner. As Alpha grabs him from behind. There's Omega. There's Omega. Oh, as he's got the table right against the table there. Good right hand shot there from Alpha. Now it's a two on one handicap basically with Omega out of commission for right now. This is not good here. For the fathers of Ferris, Caleb, my God. With a huge blow. To Omega, or to Alpha, excuse me. Sometimes it's hard to tell these gents apart, but, you know, so similar. They're almost like twins. Are they twins? I, I don't think you ever told me if they were or not. <laughs> yes. They are twins. Brothers? Yes. Brothers, yeah. Okay. Fathers of fear. Okay. Well, you learn something new every day, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. What a choke slam on the Jacob Rhyme. It's... He's usually the one getting choke slammed. Or the one giving choke slams. Not receiving them. That's Caleb Reason with a couple of backbreakers there. Jacob Rhymes right there. Jacob Rhyme. Oh, with a right hand. Rolling out of the way. Oh, clothesline right there from Alpha. And now going right after Caleb. The father's up here taking care of Rhyme and Reason, the tag champs. Oh, Jacob Ryan with a clap to the ears. Oh, STO! Putting a stop to that. Oh, and another choke slam. This time it's to Caleb. And Jacob Ryan and Caleb Reason are just getting taken out right now. Uh oh. Alpha planning Caleb Look at that it tied him up like a pretzel almost I don't think the body's supposed to bend that way Oh Jacob Ryan tried rushing in another STO These guys gotta gotta get a table they they gotta get one set up Alpha and Omega keep going after the table, and then he keeps throwing it to the outside. I don't know why. That's not going to help any of them. You have to set it up, and Jacob Ryan was about to. Oh, and a knee right to the face. From Alpha. Now Alpha finally setting it up. About time. Jacob Rhyme had it set up first, but... 
Oh, and what an uppercut off in the second row. Caleb. Oh, no. Caleb taking Omega. Oh, my God. What a plex. What a suplex back into the ring there. Oh, and now Alpha taking out Caleb. I'm going right after Jacob Ryan. Jacob Ryan, no. Jacob Ryan with the release. German suplex. Wakanda forever. From Jacob Ryan. Jacob Ryan. Oh, what a choke slam. There it is. I told you he's used to giving him, not receiving him. Oh, release German suplex through the table. And Jacob Ryan and Rhyme and Reason will win this one. You know, there is a bad omen. And that omen is whoever sets up a table usually ends up going through it. And it was Alpha that set it up. And inadvertently, Jacob Rhyme just suplexed him. Look at this. Suplexed him right through the table. Didn't even have to hit a final judgment through it or anything. I mean, that, that would have been really, really dope, to be honest with you. <laughs> that would have been really, really cool. But no funny business as Rhyme and Reason get the victory here in a very quick fashion. Wow. What a match between Jacob Rhyme and Rhyme and Reason. With Caleb Reason there. And the Fathers of Fear. As they look to defend their titles. At what it looks like to be Love Machine. The only team that's been really able to. To beat them here. So we'll see. Just what happens in Vegas. At RCW Reclaim. As we go over to the break screen. All right, folks, here we are continuing. Here's, now here's a match you'd be excited for as soon as we have Bobby Saturn. Don't act like you're not impressed. It is Bobby Saturn, folks. And this is a no-holds-barred match here. Now, I don't know if you had talked to Bobby Saturn or not, Sin, but, and I don't know if you're aware of what he had done, but, it what? was Kushida that had retained the breakout championship at RCW Asylum, and it was Bobby Saturn who had destroyed said championship. He destroyed it. Destroyed it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Basically canceling the Daybreak show. If I can't have it, no one can. It's Jordan Chase. Comes out here again. No holds barred. No rules. And as of right now, the current current um BCW cruiserweight champ. Jordan Chase? Bobby. Oh, Bobby Saturn. Okay. Okay. 
So what do you think is up with Bobby Sanderson? I don't understand this whole like change of attitude, this whole arrogance thing. I know the excellence of arrogance, Austin Lee, like that's in his DNA. But Bobby Saturn? Like, what's up with the guy? I have no idea. I, I don't I don't understand it. Like It's not like he didn't have any title opportunities. His debut was a title opportunity. It was the Rabbit Championship. I believe it was when Tiger was champion. I yes, yes, it was Tiger. It was when Tiger was champion, and he came up short in that one, but it's not like he has not had title opportunities, so I don't know what this whole thing is about, really. And speaking of Tiger, we haven't seen him on RCW in forever i don't know what's going on with him either like not that he's had any uh obligations but i wonder what's going on with him who tiger yeah like it's it's weird like he's just gone like dark here in rcw he hasn't really had any he'll communications be, or anything he'll be coming back he'll be coming back soon I don't, I don't know what it is. He's busy right now. Currently, currently the one half of the EWL prestigious tag team champions with Sinister. Yep. And looking and looking right now to try to reclaim his gift of the gods title that he lost to Tyler Rage. No, Tyler's gift of the gods, gift, gift of the gods, Adrian Fluff. Adrian Fluff. Tiger lost to Adrian Fluff. In an eight-man elimination, but still Sting, so he's looking to try to get back his title, the title that he brought to the BCW. Well, let's hope he can do that. It's Jordan Chase right now. Taking it to Bobby Saturn. Bobby, oh my God. Got curb stomped there by Jordan Chase. Now Chase looking for a victory over Bobby Saturn, but a kick out at one. No holds barred, no rules here. Bobby Saturn, Bobby Saturn with a couple of elbow strikes. Classic Bobby. And now Bobby gonna toss Jordan Chase out. Bobby, Bobby Spare right to Jordan Chase through the ropes there. And Bobby's starting off. Pretty damn good here as he's got a sledgehammer in hand. Oh, there it is. The first weapon utilized. And this matchup, but oh, right to the midsection. Jordan Chase right back to Bobby Saturn. No holds barred, folks. No rules. These guys can spend as much time out here as they want as an elbow drop right there. Now, Jordan Chase, he's had recent success. I mean, I know that he's kind of in this little spin with... Uh, Brian Outlaw right now in the uh, in the EWL saying that he was robbed of a title opportunity due to Aliza's involvement, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I can't speak for him. I don't do that. I just he's you know trying to speak for any of these outlaws. Like, do you want to be on the other on the wrong side of the stick with him? With one of them? No. I don't no. think so. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that's not, not something you want to do. We also have the women's tag team tournament coming up in the second half of season 11 of the regular show, which uh, which will be uh, after uh, re Reclaim, so after the Reclaim pay-per-view. We'll probably have three straight episodes where we just dedicate those to the uh, tournaments. So we might not have regular universe mode episodes for quite a while. Um, because I want to get those tournaments done. So we're going to have quite, quite a lot of still very eventful episodes of RCW coming your way. That's Bobby Saturn. Bobby Saturn getting ready to launch. No. A little bit of mind games there. Bobby caught Jordan Chase, though. With a DDT. 
And now Bobby. Getting a chair. Oh, this can't be good. Oh my god, no. Bobby. He's putting the chair around the neck of Jordan Chase as he goes up top. Elbow right there to Jordan Chase. And oh my god. Jordan Chase writhing in pain there. From that asteroid elbow right there. Busted him wide open. And now Bobby. Bobby. He's got him. The rings of Saturn. Rings of Saturn. He's got Jordan Chase reeling. He's got Jordan Chase reeling, but Jordan Chase hangs on. A couple of elbow strikes right there to break out of that submission hold. And now Jordan Chase. Jordan Chase going to lift up Bobby. Pop-up cutter there from Jordan Ooh. Chase. Jordan Chase is feeling it. And champion, or, or I should say Bobby, a little dizzy there. And now Jordan Chase back body drop. Look at Jordan Chase on the comeback here. Spine buster right Ooh. on the chair directly. Inadvertently, the spine buster right on the chair. Uh-oh, now he's got him. German suplex. Into that lariat turning Bobby Saturn inside out. Might not be good for Bobby here. Count of two. And a kick out of two from Bobby Saturn. Jordan Chase is livid at the referee right now. Jordan Chase might be going for Black Mass. Oh! Bobby ducked under it. He ducked under it. Oh my god, what a back suplex. He ducked under the Black Mass. Oh, but Jordan Chase with a clothesline in the corner. Oh, and a kick. Right to the face. Oh, Bobby Saturn. Jordan Chase. We're going to try and submit Bobby now. The back. Riving in pain here. He's got Bobby Saturn. But Bobby. Bobby with the wherewithal to escape. Oh, but Jordan Chase again. Not allowing him to get any offense. Jordan Chase. Oh my God. On shoulder tackle. Jordan Chase turned this entire match around, Sid. What is going on? He's turned this whole thing around. You did so good. You Jordan Chase. Jordan Chase. Oh my god. He went up from the elbow drop. Couldn't quite connect. Oh, look at the strikes from Jordan. A knee right to the face, and he's got Bobby Saturn dazed. Did the cover one? No. It's gonna take more than that to take him out. Oh, again, another cover and another kick out. What did you expect there, Jordan? Uh oh. Uh oh, he's looking to charge it up again. He might be able to hit it again. Black Mass this time. He fully hits it. One. Two to get the victory over. Bobby, no. A kick out of two and a half. Oh, but Jordan Chase. Ooh. Uh oh. Back suplex Bad, right on the apron. What a good shot. Right there. Oh. He's gonna lift him up. What's Bobby going for here? Oh, planning him. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna matter. Bobby Saturn gonna wrench on it anyway. Cause the damage. He's got him tapping. He's got him tapping. It's not mattering though. He's got to get him in the ring. He has to get him in the ring. Oh, he's going to take him to the barricade here. 
This doesn't look good. Bobby! Bobby! Bobby with a spear through the barricade as she takes Jordan Chase right through the barricade here. Thanks, cameraman. The exactly we wanted to see the back of the referee shirt. Gotta love it. <laughs> Gotta love it, cameraman. Gotta love it. Jordan Chase barely moving. Oh, but now that woke him up. The adrenaline rush. He's taking him over to the to the other barricade, throwing him over. I don't know what he was planning to do just to create some space there, perhaps. Right. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Oh, it's Bobby drawing that line. Oh, Jordan Chase. Snap mare. Now Jordan Chase going to lift him up. There it is. Oh, my God. Right on the back of his head. Cover. And a kick out. Right from Bobby Saturn. Oh, looking for the Tiger suplex into a bridge here. One, two, to get the victory. No, a kick out there from Jordan Chase. He's doing it again. Two, no. Bobby, very arrogant here. He wants this to be over. Oh, good shot. Oh, gonna turn him around. Asteroid elbow again! And he's just... Just standing there. Oh, now he's gonna go for it. The around the world brain buster! There it is! Good night, Jordan. One, two! What am I seeing right now? Jordan Chase, an absolute menace. A force to be reckoned with. It's Jordan Chase with another suplex. And another Larian turning Bobby Saturn inside out as he goes for the cover again. One, two, no. Bobby Saturn still fighting. Oh, he's going to try and get that black mask. Black mask, no! He ducked under it. Oh, what a shot! Right there to take down Jordan Chase. And another uppercut there for good measure. Jordan Chase... Recuperating, not going to allow him to do so. Oh, right off of the announce table. Oh, and right off of the ring post. Two as well. Uh-oh. Jordan Chase. Think smarter, not harder. Jordan Chase is still in this somehow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh my god. No, 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 Jordan! Oh my god, throwing Bobby Saturn back first into that ring post. Oh, what a neck prick. We are still moments away from our main event, folks. Jack will defend his Rabbit Championship in a triple threat match, but... This... It's got main event written all over it. Now Jordan Chase. Finally getting back into the ring. Oh, full Nelson. Oh, suplex. One. Into a pin and a kick out at one there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Bobby with an inverted DDT. At any point, he could finish this. 
But he's choosing not to. Oh, a good shot with a chair. Oh, and another one. And Bobby. Just has this onslaught. Of offense. Oh, what a kick. Oh, 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 trying to clothesline him. Bobby, though. Bobby. Northern Lights. Rolling through. Spinning neck break. And the booze continue to rain down, but Jordan Chase not going down without a fight. Knee. Cover. One. No. Again, Jordan. And Jordan again going for a cover out of frustration and a kick out. What do you expect? Oh, he's looking for the black mask. Oh, spare! He charged it up one, two, caught him off guard, no! Woo, that was close. That he, was close. He caught a spear. He caught him off guard. I thought he was going for the black mask again, oh, but Jordan's going ball. up. Jordan, Jordan shooting star! Not going for the cover, an interesting uh, choice. Now he's gonna try for that submission again. He's got Bobby Real and he had Bobby Real in last time. But Bobby somehow finding a way out. Bobby, oh, what an uppercut. And now he's going for that comic kick. Here it is. it is. Bang! Right on the face of Jordan. Now there's only one thing left to do. Rings of Saturn. No. No holds bar. No rope breaks. But Jordan Chase. Fights out of it. He knew. He knew. What a match, folks, but Bobby Saturn with another blow to the back. Oh, the blue thunder bomb! One! No! Bobby Saturn again! This is an amazing match right now. Jawbreaker, yes it is, Sin. Yes it is! But Bobby has had enough. Oh, he ain't breaking Going out of this Rings one. Going for Rings of Saturn again. Rings of Saturn. Jordan Chase has got nowhere to go, but he's got a tap. Bobby Saturn gets the victory, but a hard-fought one nonetheless against Jordan Chase. What a match. A hellacious match. Look at that asteroid elbow right there. Match of the night candidate. Well, yeah, but we still have our main event, triple threat match for the Ravage yes. title. Jack Outlaw against two opponents. Well, wow, this is definitely match of the night candidate right here as Bobby Saturn gets the victory. But don't go anywhere, folks. We have your main event just ahead of us as Jack Outlaw will defend his Ravage championship in a triple threat match.
We have your main event, folks. Right here. A triple threat match. For the Ravage Championship as we have the Blessed Warrior, Jay Jin, coming out here. Oh, shit. Jay Jin is also one of eight superstars in a match to, for the men's billion dollar. And he is also in the King of the Ring tournament, the RCW King of the Ring tournament for the first time ever. popping for Jay Jin. Versus Katsu. That is one of the matches in the tournament. And it's cool because that's the same attire that I that, that I chose for him to have tonight, too. <laughs> I like both of his attires, but I like that one, too. Imagine if this man is king of the ring, is a blessed king of the ring. As we have Darby Allen coming out here. Now, I had the chance to meet this man. This man was absolutely amazing. And he told me sometimes you have to... You have to do what you have to, even if it's dangerous. And Darby Allen definitely is a man that is dangerous, for sure. Putting his body on the line for almost no reason sometimes. <laughs> but he will, ha he will have to put his body on the line for this one in a triple threat match. For the right to call themselves Ravage Champion. Now let's get to the champ. There he is. Jack Outlaw. Now he, he had won this title. By pinning Bryce Blackwell off of Brad Williams' bitter end. To win his first title ever in RCW since joining it. I believe all the way back in Season 5. So this title means so much to him. And he loves the concept of it. He loves the whole idea that he has to defend it. You know, he wants to be a fighting champion. Love or hate the Outlaws. You know, when it comes to them being champions, they want to be fighting champions. They want to prove to people that, you they... know, they're not paper champions they're not you know guys that are just gonna show up look pretty and you know that's it but there it is folks the ravage champion yep the ravage championship there it is look at that we're gonna get a good screenshot of that beautiful ref right there jack is also one of the is in the match that eight man Billion dollar title match, I believe. Oh, so he, he might be able to win that one tonight, too, as well. Yeah. Jay Jin looked to go after Darby Allen. And with the with holding that BCW billion dollar title, can cash it in on any, any champion. Any of them. It should be interesting. He, he can go to the, he can go for the gift of the gods, the U.S., King of the Ring, World Champ, Intercontinental Champ, U.S. And if he or if he looks the team with somebody, can go for the tag champs. We just seen it's basically the who Call was Your it? Shot Trophy equivalent to the Call Your Shot Trophy of Impact Wrestling. Yeah, the what's it called? Um, just seen Harper Osborne, who was who had the million dollar. We had the Jay million Jin dollar going for a pin already in a kick out easily. Had the million dollar title. She actually used it for her and her sister Tammy to face Justice in China, La Femme La Fatale, just Wednesday on Velocity, and actually captured the BCW tag women's tag team champions. That's a smart idea, you know. Smart idea, you know. Basically, give your give your team an automatic shot. And speaking of smart ideas here, Jack is just strolling around the ring as Jay Jin and Darby. Yeah, that's Duke smart. Out. That let is them hella beat, smart. Let them beat the hell out of each other. And then you come in cleaning up the pieces.
Very, very smart. Oh, what a kick! Taking the head off. And there is Jack Outlaw gonna watch this happen. Is Jay Jin's gonna lock in a Curry? No, 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 no! Darby Allen! Darby Allen caught him! Oh my! Good thing Jack was right there. But what a reversal. Oh! Tried to hit him with a baseball bat. Didn't didn't get anything. And now Darby Allen gonna hit him with a baseball bat. No. These two fighting over a bat like children, and finally one of them gets a shot as Jack all oh, trying to hit him with it. Hit him with it again. And now Darby gonna hit him with a baseball bat right there. Now Jay Jin coming in. Oh. Going right after Jay Jin. Jay Jin though turning it around. Jay Jin with a back suplex. And now it's Jay Jin, the blessed warrior. And Jack for the champion. Oh, good thing he caught he caught Jay Jin so that he couldn't roll out. Oh, he might have got him here. Caught him. The heel hook right here on Jay Jin. The heel hook right here on Jay Jin, but the legs aren't damaged enough. For Jack to get a decent. He's. Oh my god, a decent grip. And now Darby Allen. Darby Allen looks to throw caution to the wind there, but Jay Jin getting out of it. Now Jay Jin with the combination. Oh, oh, tried for the kick. He ducked out of the way. He got out of the way of the kick. And a body slam. And now that's going to help. Wise. That's going to help Jack. That's going to help Jack right there. That's not very wise from Jay Jin. And he's going to light up the atomic bomb. Reversal, though, stutter. He caught him. Didn't follow it up with anything. And that, that allows Jack to... Gain the momentum right back. Gain the momentum right back, exactly. Oh, but Darby, there's Jay Jin again. Jay Jin, oh my god, both of them got right into each other. And now Jack's climbing up. Middle rope, fist drop. Darby Allen's right there watching this. It all happened. Darby Allen got met with a spinning heel kick. Now, which one do you go after here? The kid in the corner? Or the one on the ground? Oh, looks like he's going after Darby. Jay Jin watching this. He's cool with it. Oh, good headbutt. Back and forth between Jack and Darby. Now he notices he's turning his attention over to Jack. Oh, elbow. Oh my God. Mind and you, this diving, is not an elimination. Russian dive knee to the chest. That shit got to hurt. Yep. <laughs> this is not an elimination, folks. Normally, we in multi-person matches, we do have eliminations. But not in this case. So Jack does not need to be pinned to lose his title. So he's got to be built... Village in here. There's a knee strike. Is Jack now? Jack just getting up. Oh, tried for the kick again. Darby Allen turned it around. Jay Jin turned it around. Back and forth here. What a great match. Fantastic match. There's Jack. In with the baseball bat in case anything funny happens. And right there. Strike one. Strike two. And here we go. Strike three, you're nope. He missed. Strike three, you're out. Strike four. 
if that even existed. But none, but nonetheless, Jack is just taking out everybody. Oh, but he's got to be mindful. He got caught with a combination. Oh, but Jijin got stopped by Darby Allen. And now Darby Allen's going to meet Turnbuckle. Oh no. He's going to hit it. He's going to hit Akari. Akari right on to Darby Allen. But there oh there's Jack. Jack, Jack with the suplex. Jack with the suplex and he's going to steal it. 1 Two, he's going to steal it. Oh, my God. Darby Allen got the shoulder up. I thought he was going to steal it. He almost had it. Almost had it. He almost had it. It's like that State Farm commercial. You almost had it, but you got to be quicker. Ooh, and now the heel hook. The heel hook by Darby Allen is right there. And now Darby. Darby, my God. Taking the champ out. Oh, he's going to steal it from Jay Jen. Don't Darby. Oh, and a kick out of two and a half. Oh, my God. He almost got it. He almost had it. He's got to be quicker than that. He almost yeah, had it. Busy. Oh, Jack knows what's at stake here. He's got no time to rest. He knows. Oh, he almost got Jay Jin. Paying close attention. Jay Jin. On fire! Oh! What a backbreaker. But there's Darby Allen again with a reversal. Oh, there he is! There's Jack again! Now it's just him and the blessed warrior, Michunuku Driver. One, two, and a kick out. You really thought that Jay Jin was gonna. Was gonna kick out of that? All oh, over oh, the atomic bomb! Jay Jin reversed! Jay Jin gonna toss Jack out. I don't know why he would. The only way to win is inside the ring. That It's not going to matter who ends up out here. And now Darby Allen's up. Darby Allen gets taken out. You got to get one of them in the ring. It's not going to matter otherwise. And the outlaw weapon of choice right here. The steel chair as he awaits Jay Jin's arrival. Oh, Jay Jin throwing the chair in his face. But there's Darby right there. Darby's gonna stop Jay Jin. I don't know why. Doesn't make sense here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jay Jin was trying to go for that combination again. Now Jack's finally up. Jay Jin. Jay Jin. Oh, trying to go for the belly to belly, but there's Jack. Jack again's got to roll out. I don't know how wise that is, though. Jay Jin with a kick. With a kick. Jay Jin might steal it. One, two. Jay Jin. Oh my god. Darby Allen. Seriously! This is a wild match, Sin. This is insane! I'm surprised Jay Jin hasn't even won this! He should've! But like I said, it just keeps going back and forth, back and forth, over and over. Oh, is he going to hit Akari again? 
No! One! Two! Oh, there's Jay Jin. There's Jack right there with a... Oh, oh, oh! RVD! Shades of RVD right there. With the kick. But Jay Jin gets right back up. Darby is stirring. Oh, oh, oh! He just got caught into Akari! Darby! Akari right there! There is Darby Allen. Oh, he tried to get that knee to the chest again. But this time on to Darby. Oh, Darby. Oh, Darby got caught. Darby. Jack right there to take down Darby. And it's just him and Jay Jin. Oh my god, with the chair. Another shot with a chair. Oh, 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 he blocked it. Oh, the someone would drop right on the chair. Oh, he's gonna try and submit him. Darby's sitting there. Darby's sitting there on the apron watching this happen, but luckily. Jack's able to escape. Darby was literally sitting there watching this happen. I don't know why he didn't get in there and try to interrupt it at least. That's the whole point. It's not an elimination. It's a... It's a one fall to a finish and he just took the combination. But Jay Jin's tired. Oh my... God, another blow in the chair. And now Darby is basically fresh meat at this point. Jack is the vulture and he's fresh meat. Oh my God, another shot in the chair. Around the neck of Darby Allen. Oh, but he's looking for the heel hook. Darby Allen, oh, kick right to the midsection. I don't know if that was low or not. But it doesn't matter. No disqualification, so if it was... It doesn't matter. Now looking for the heel hook on Darby. Heel hook on Darby. Referee was not in position anyway. It's Darby escapes. This is ridiculous. Uh-oh. He might be done. Ref, one, two, no. Referee got taken out. <laughs> Referee just got taken out by Jack. Oh, now JJ caught him! Oh my god, with a backbreaker. Referee is down for the count right now. JJ is on fire! Oh, looking for the atomic bomb! He's got it! The referee's starting to stir! To retain the title. Two. No. Jay Jin. Kicked out. Oh, but he almost caught Darby. Darby Allen caught him. Oh, my God. No. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Darby. Darby. My God. Darby. Darby off of the rope. One. Oh, there it is. The kick out. The kick out. Now, Jack beginning to stir. Jack got up. Oh, 
The sweep to the foot. And now he's got Darby Allen. Darby Allen busts it open. Jack, 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 Jack's gonna charge him with a hip attack. No, he missed. Northern Lights. One, two to get it over with. Oh, he almost got it. Oh, this is any more time perfect than this one. Looking for the atomic bomb. Darby Allen reversed. He's gonna try and hit it again. He's got it. The atomic bomb, but Jay Jin is right there. Jay Jin's right there. Jay Jin! Oh my god, he tried to he tried to take him out. Oh! Jay Jin! DDT right on the face of Darby! Is Darby Allen still getting up? And now Jack Outlaw taking out everybody. And now Jack's feeling it. Jack's feeling it. Jack. Jack with a single leg drop kick. Oh, but JJ got up. He'll hook. He'll hook right here. Darby Allen's right there, though. Oh, pfft. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell was that? Darby Allen. Oh, shit. I don't even know what was that what that was. I just saw Darby Allen just dive out of nowhere. Oh shit. Oh that was crazy. Oh but the heel hook. The heel hook right there. On the JJ. Nowhere for JJ to go. Nowhere for JJ to go. Darby's right there though to stop it. Oh my god. This is intense. It's like sex outdoors. It's intense. Shout out to Ice White. DDT on the apron. And now Jack is busted open. What is Darby Allen doing? He's going after Jack when he could have been going after Jay Jin in the ring though. This is just giving the champ more time. As now Jay Jin and Jack are still in. Oh my god, a gut buster. There's Darby. There's Darby, but he got caught. Darby got caught. A tark bomb stutter. Oh my god. What's it gonna take? One of these men has got to be out of it. Oh my God, Jay Shin! Now you just gotta get up, take out Darby. Oh, Darby's smart, Dar leaving. Both men just playing ring around the rosy here. Oh my god. Oh what a knee. But there there's Jack again. Right place, right time. He can hit it. Looking for the atomic bomb. Atomic bomb, but there's Darby Allen. Darby Allen still getting to his feet. Darby! Darby Allen thrown out! Darby Allen thrown out! One! Two to retain the title! Oh my god! Jay Jim! Again! Just enough time! JDT! Oh, there's Darby! 
This is an insane match. I don't know. I don't know. This I I know we said match of the night was Jordan Chase and Bobby Saturn, but not after this. Jay Chin and Darby Allen worked together, took out the champion. Now it's just them two. Now it's just them. Uh oh. DDT! Right there, right on to Darby off of the apron. And now working on Darby on the outside. I don't know why, because. They can't get the pin out here. They can't. Darby Allen with the wicked reversal and now Darby's going ham on Jay Jin. It's like a light switch went off. And now it's Darby and Jack. Boom! Baseball bat right to the face. Oh, the heel hook, the heel hook, he's got it, he's got it. Jay Jin, Jay Jin's on the floor, Jay Jin's on the floor, and Jack retains it. Jack retains it off of a heel hook. And my God, what a match. That shit was a hell of a match. What? A match. Jay Jin, I mean, I guess it was good that Darby Allen and Jay Jin were beating the hell out of each other on the outside because it was Darby who had planted Jay Jin and that gave enough time for Jack Outlaw to recuperate on the outside to get back into the ring. To hook the heel hook and finish it as Jack Outlaw retains the Ravage Championship in an hellacious match here in the main event of RCW Relentless. Wow. But what's next? We don't know. We'll have to find out next time on RCW.